the chapter, we will develop some some of the important concept number theory. So the number theory include many of those used in computer science. So we will first introduce the notation of divisibility. We talked about some about the previous line. Here we cited the modular arithmetic and then some application of concurrence. We will discuss the uh, prime numbers and critical common divisor. Uh, so if we have A and B are two integers, and M is a positive integer. So we have the notation A equal B modulo M. Here, if and only if the remainder of two divisions is the same. For example, because 17 modulo set is 5, and then 5 uh, modulo set is 5. So the remainder is the same. We say that 11 equal 5 modulo set. You can see here, because 24 align this notation, set is 0, and uh, 14 modulo set is 2. So the remainder is different. We say not echo. We have A, B, F, one step, two step, three step. But the distance of this step is M. It means we have plus one M, plus two M, plus three M, and plus K M. For example, we can express 17 is equal to 5 multiple 6 2 times. So here we can see K is 2. So M is 6. So we have 6 divine. Okay, the difference. So we can say 17 and 5. Are echo modulo segment. So here we have some theorem. Here the theorem so that if we have a echo b modulo m and c echo d modulo m, so we have a plus c echo to b plus d modulo m. So for example, seven echo to modulo five and eleven equal to one. Modulo 5. So we have 18 equal to 3 modulo 5. It means 18 modulo 5 equal to 3 modulo 5. It means 3. And so the second we have uh, A multiple C equal to B multiple D for the modulo M. For example, because here, here, and we have 77 equal to 22 modulo 5 modulo 5 and the remainder is 2 so 22 modulo 5 the remainder is 2 of the same uh, this from this we can uh, imply this fact so this is the important talent we can preserve the concurrence behind the the operator of addition and multiplication. From the theorem, we have a corollary. So the corollary means that to compute the value of the expression, we can compute three steps. The first step, we compute A modulo M. The second step, we compute B modulo M. And the last step, we plus two remainder and do the last modulo. So, what is the remainder of the divisor? We can split 9 multiple 11. So, we compare the remainder. By the talent, we need to find 9 modulo 3, and then we take the modulo of 11 and 3. We see a multiplication. So, 0 multiple. The remainder of here is 2. The problem is 0. So in the last one, we modulo 3. The remainder of this here is 0. So we can calculate the remainder is 0. It is very useful for some in computer science. 
So we have uh, many application of congruence to execute the hash function to generate zero random number to encrypt the message. For here, we can sign up the hashing function. So the central computer maintain the records of the customer. The question is that how to locate customer records can be retrieved quickly. We create index table. So uh, we met one record to one index. It record have the unique key. So we have the key, K. We want to find the index of key of R. The solution to the problem is the hash function H. We have a K here. So we have the index H of K. The hashing function should be easily evaluated by the record can be quickly located. And the second, the hash function should be on top. On memory location can be used. Many kinds of the hash function can be used. However, the modulo is uh, easy to compute. For example, here we want to find the memory location by the hashing function. It is the, the setup on the size security number. So for example, here we have 0, 6, 8, 4, 8. So this is the memory. So we find the position in the memory. We are doing the modulo. So we can use calculator. Okay. Modulo 111. The remainder is 14. The second one here, the modulo, have the index 65. So uh, add the index and save the information of this customer here. Because a hashing function is not one-to-one, -one because there are more keys than memory location. More than one file might be assigned to a memory location for example, we try to find the location of this katama. So we check the remainder. The memory location is also potent. In this memory location, we have a collision. It means that we have H1, we have H2. So the H at H of 1 is the same as H of 2. So if a hashing function is not one to one, we can meet a collision. We have many, many ways to resolve collision. So we have a linear dropping, correlative dropping, chaining, hashing. So if the next memory location is free, can assign the information of this customer to the next. This is the method of linear working. If here is not free, we try to the next setting. If the setting is free, we can assign the file here. We can discuss about this way in CSD, uh, data structure and uh, and reason cost. This is the second application of congruence. In uh, computer simulation, we uh, we often use the random number. One of the methods to generate the random number is using congruence. So uh, we use the formula to generate a random number. Here we have the SIP H of zero is three. So we have a tray, the multiple A and plus the increment C four. And then we modulo M to nine. And the result is seven. From the six zero tray, we have the next number is seven. And then for a two. So we have eight and so on. We can see here the program in Java. Mm, this is the array number function. The parameter of set, the multiplier, the increment, and the modulus. Mm. 
So for example, we want to generate line term. Yeah. is a random number. Because m is 9. So at most 9 number, we meet the duplication. Set 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 1. And the last we have 3. And this is here 3. Because 3 generate 7. So if we continue, we made set 1, 2. And here, set 1, 2. Parallel is 9 times. But uh, with the multiplier, the set, the increment, and the modulus, so we can say H1, 0, multiplier, plus the increment, then modulo M. Here we have 1 and the actual attentive the S of 3 3A1 modulo 3A1 the reason is 0 so we have the second 0 uh, 1 uh, 20 and the 0 uh, 1 the length of the period is 3 So uh, the sequence of the random number generated in this way do not send some important statistically property or for the parameter here where the sequence contain three different number only before we under the uh, modulus m is large. We can cite uh, one important application cryptography. You know, Julius says that if he want to encrypt the message, he zip the letter by a tree index. Uh, we can uh, index A by 0, B by 1, F5, H1, Z25. We have uh, 26 letter, so we index from the 0 to 25. So M, M, we count. N, O, B, yeah, B. One, two, and three. The encrypt of M is B. Here, one, two, three. Here, we have H. Triplet. So for Y, Y is 24. So we have 24 plus 3 modulo 26. We have 1 plus 1 here, and then the plus 2, and then plus 3. We have B. So the remainder is 1. The result is P. I want to encrypt this message by a cipher. Okay, this is the reason. To recover, we implement the inverse function here for encrypt. See, we have the inverse function, the inverse function for encryption. We have B here. One, two, three, we have M. So for B, one, A, we have Z, two, three, we have Y. So the reason is Y. This is just for the more we decrypt this message by CSR cipher. We have so this is the original message. This is the CSR cipher key of three. So for in the general, we have a zip cipher for arbitrary key. This is the function for the encrypt. This is the inverse, the inverse for decrypt. For example, we want to encrypt this message, stop global warming, using the zip cipher K11. We have to zip 11. So what is yes. Is it here? The secret key is 11. So we can encrypt the message, stop global warming. And the result is here. 
if we receive this message with the K of 11, we can recover the original message by the decrypt method. So we can run here. The result is the original message is stop global warming. So here we can generate the SIP cipher. We had the affin cipher. This is here. So we can see here B plus K, B plus 3. Uh, this is K. We can return the SIP cipher when A is 1. The two secret keys here is A and B. Because we have a two secret key, so we can enhance the secrets of our system. But if we use the affin cipher, we have the condition, the GCG of A and 26 is 1. It means A and 26 is a relative from. It is easy to solve the inverse from this function. So here, we need to satisfy the condition, the condition how the, the inverse function. To ensure that we can on Wi-Fi the inverse function, we have to satisfy the condition here. So the condition here is very important. Yeah. The study about from numbers go back to ancient time. In this section, we talk about from and the prime factorization. And uh, the last we uh, assigned the sieve of Aristotle. An integer p greater than one is called prime if the only positive factors of p are one and p. So uh, we have, for example, the seven e prime because only have two factors. The first e one and the second is itself. B is prime. If and only if B has only two factors, two factors of 1 and P. But a knife is not a prime, it means not composite. Because 9 modulo 3 is 0, a 3 is not 1 and not 9. So we want to uh, obtain the algorithm for checking an gesture is prime or not. We start by the division to 9, 2, the remainder is not 0. So we try to divide by 3. So here, the remainder is 0. So we can conclude is not prime. The remainder, 1, uh, not 0. So we try with 3. The remainder is not 0. 4, not 0. 5, not 0, 6, not 0, uh, 7, the remainder is 0. Because here the remainder is 0, we stop the loop. We have a D is 7 and B is 7. Uh, and then we check the condition because the D is 7 and B is 7. So we return true. It means 7 is a prime. So here for B of 9, uh, 9 modulo 2, not 0, we increase D. So here we have a D, 3, and then we uh, modulo 9 by 3. So the remainder here is 0. Uh, and we stop the loop uh, because here D is 3 and B is 9. So in this here we conclude that not right. Here we have uh, one theorem. The theorem is to speed up the checking ground. One of one divided with two, three. The remainder is not zero. The remainder is not zero. Four, not zero. Five, not zero. So we have to check uh, the last with one of one. So here the remainder is zero. By the end reason here we conclude. 101 is a prime. This here we have one step, two step, three step, and then we have a 100. We have a 100 step. And the process is similar to If you know the theorem, uh, if n is a composite integer, then n has a prime divisor less than or equal to square root of n. 
Uh, here we need to check D of 2, 3, and 101. But uh, by the theorem, we check only from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, just to 7. The remainder is not 0. So here we can conclude, we can stop here. 101 is prime. Because if 101 is a composite, uh, 101 is divisible by 2, 3, So we can A here, B. We have the implication A, implicate B. This is the EQ, not B, imply, not A. Did you remember the implication equal to the, the converse and the inverse? Here we have to execute 100 steps, but in here, just answer. Here, this is one fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So every integer greater than one can be written by the product two or more from. This is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. For example, here we have n a city. Starting by the first prime number two, and p remainder. So here, because the remainder is zero, we have the, the first gram factor. The first gram factor here is two. Turn n to 30. The remainder zero. So we have the factor two. Uh, this is 50. The remainder is not zero. Because the remainder is not zero, we increase the factor three. We make the division 15 for three. So here the remainder is zero. So we have the factor 3. Here we have 5. Because uh, I modulo 3 is uh, not 0. So we try with 4. So not 0. So we try with 5. The remainder is 0. Uh, because the remainder is 0, so we have the factor 5. After that, we have uh, here 1. We stop the end result here. So we can write 60 by 2, 2, 3, 5. This is the RAM factorization. We start the process with the first RAM. For each step, we back the division uh, to uh, determine the remainder. If the remainder is zero, the first case, so we have the factor. After we are put the factor, we replace n by the, the quotient. In the second case, if the remainder is not zero, we just increment the, the p variable. If not zero, we uh, increase the, the value of p. This is the RAM factorization function. Can you show me the result here? The remainder is zero, so we have the remainder is zero. So we have not zero. So we have three, four, five. The remainder is zero. So we output. Okay. So we have two, two, five. Keep going. We have twenty-five is zero. So this is five, five, five. The remainder is zero. So we have a five, and this is one. So if uh, n is 1, we stop the increase here. So we have here the graph factorization.